In this video, we'll discuss what is aphasia and provide examples of how to most effectively communicate with your family member with aphasia. What is aphasia? Aphasia is an acquired language disorder. It is estimated that there are 180,000 new cases of aphasia per year in the United States. The National Institute of Deafness and Other Communication Disorders estimates that approximately 1 million people, or 1 in 250 in the United States today, are living with aphasia. Some common causes of aphasia are stroke, traumatic brain injury, brain tumors, surgery or infections, and progressive neurological diseases such as dementia. What is anomic aphasia? Anomic aphasia is fluent speech with word-finding errors, and often with use of filler words or talking around the word. Comprehension is typically relatively intact. We'll use this picture for reference in the next examples. A person with anomic aphasia may look and sound like the following. Tell me what's happening in this picture. Well, there's the guy, and he's sitting in the... He's sitting in the place, um, and there's the barking uh, animal. I don't remember. I don't know. He's barking. And then we have the fire guys here, and they are running to help. And over here, we have the, it's the car. Um, it's the, well, it's a car. And we have this here singing. And there's a girl, and she's reaching up to get her, her animal, her pet there. And there's this, um, there's this, you ride, it's, yeah, I don't know. Okay. As you heard, the patient has difficulty with word finding. However, comprehension of yes or no questions is relatively intact. Um, do you have blonde hair? No. Do you have blue hair? No. Are we outside? No. Are we in a hospital? No. Yes. Are we at the library? Library? No. Do you eat, do you eat eggs before you cook them? Do I? No. Is a mouse smaller than a lion? Yes. As you heard, comprehension of yes or no questions is relatively intact. They may also be able to respond well to simple commands. Pick up the sock. Pick up the plate. Pick up the washcloth. Pick up the glasses. Pick up the plate and the sock. Pick up the glasses and the plate. Put the sock on the washcloth. Pick up the sock and the glasses and put them on the plate. Okay. Individuals with anomic aphasia have fluent speech with word finding errors and will often use filler words or talking around the word. Where are you from? I am from, well, well, now I live, it's the place, oh, why is this so hard? It's north, no, it's not north, it's, it's south. Um, it's south, south of Salt Lake. Um, what's it called? The, um, Lehigh. Oh, okay, Lehigh. great, great. Um, 
What are some of your hobbies? Um, I like to paint and I like to um, I like to go places. I like to travel to we really like to go to places. Okay. We like to go to places. Okay. Um, do you have a family? Yeah. Um, there's some members of my of my family, yeah. As you heard, the patient has difficulty with word finding. An individual with anomic aphasia will likely be aware of their communication difficulties, which may result in frustration. The overall goal is to increase communication and reduce communication breakdowns. This can include spoken language, such as describing objects or utilizing other communication methods, such as writing, gestures, or pictures to convey the overall message. Here are some ways you can communicate with your loved one. Allow additional time to respond. Limit distractions, only one person talking at a time, and make sure to turn off the TV or close the door. Ask your loved one to describe the object if they become stuck. As appropriate, encourage the use of writing, gestures, or pictures to facilitate communication. Do include the person with aphasia in conversations and decisions. Be patient. Encourage your loved one to keep trying to communicate, even if it's frustrating. Don't finish every phrase. However, provide assistance when requested, and make sure not to talk over them. It is anticipated that communication will improve over time as you learn how to most effectively interact with them. Thank you for watching this video about aphasia. We hope you find this information helpful as you learn how to help your loved one through this challenging time. If you have any questions or would like further information or resources, please be sure to talk with your speech language pathologist, doctor, or rehab educator.